Online, there seems to have developed this strange discourse pitting the talents of singing and songwriting against each other. Much of this does appear to be on Twitter, an online echo chamber of false controversy and misinformed opinion, and a lot of this debate does seem to revolve specifically around Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande. As an inspiring songwriter myself, I kind of wanted to share my own stance on this subject, share with you some of my own personal concerns about it, and maybe even manage to take the conversation beyond that of just two modern pop stars. But what about Taylor and Ariana? Indeed, when it comes to debates on Twitter, misunderstandings and simplifications can be made. After all, these aren't exactly experts who are having these debates. Taylor Swift very much has built her brand on her songwriting, on her amazing ability to convey stories through her songs, oftentimes simple songs musically, and her innate ability to craft these wonderfully resonant and relatable lyrics. But one thing that really stood out to me when I did my review of the Era's Tour concert film was one particular song where we see her kind of lying back on the roof of the folklore house while singing. It is entirely possible that Taylor had some kind of performance coach or um, choreographer, you know, helping her out, you know, making sure that all the muscles are engaged and in the right place as she's doing this. But nevertheless, it goes to show that she is a singer with incredible technique and there's very likely a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Ariana Grande, of course, is an absolute powerhouse of a vocalist. In a way, it's her superpower. The way that she can nail these technical runs with incredible pitch accuracy and sing incredibly high. But we also have to remember that she is a co-writer on many of her hit songs. I also want to add that both of these artists have worked with the established hit maker Max Martin and I think to be honest both of them do owe a debt to him and to other collaborators for their careers being as stratospheric as they are. What I hope I've made clear here is that both singing and songwriting are important and necessary. And in the case of both Taylor and Ariana, it would be disingenuous to make out that either of those artists are only capable of one thing. But let's pretend, for example, that they weren't these multifaceted talents. What if these artists were only good at one thing? I want to take a step back in time. I'm a big rock guy, and I want to talk about the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley. Did you know that Elvis didn't actually write any of his songs? In fact, while researching this video, I found out that there are even songs that Elvis got writing credits on, which he didn't actually contribute to. Yet nevertheless, Elvis is this highly revered musician, and one of the most important cultural figures of the 20th century. Now of course there are some caveats. Elvis was born of a different time, and it is an injustice that by virtue of being male gave him a huge leg up in the game. But there are other factors as well that played a huge part in Elvis's success. This is a man with incredible good looks and incredible charm. His personality is wildfire and the way he moved on stage really turned heads. Elvis's success was made up of a great many components, and not just his voice. Turning back to Taylor and Ariana, is it not true that these are both conventionally attractive women who also contain larger-than-life personalities? I say this, of course, not to knock their talents, but merely to stress the fact that there are a number of factors that make up a huge pop star, and talent is only one of them. Indeed, there is another point I wish to make, one specifically around that of songwriting. Songwriting is subjective. There is no magic way that you can make your song sound appealing, and no one song is going to appeal to everyone. Conversely, although it's true that you cannot change the tone of your voice, there are ways that you can make your voice sound objectively better. Good breath control or pitch accuracy Learning to improve your ear so you can hear when you're actually hitting the correct note or when you're not. Having really good support from your diaphragm. These are ways you can objectively make your voice sound better. 
with songwriting, sure, there are ways you can make a song more complicated or more unusual. You could throw in a diminished chord, you could spice up your lyrics with use of metaphor, but is that diminished chord in key? Is the diminished chord being used with purpose? If it breaks the key, does it still sound good? And even if it doesn't sound good, is there context within the song for that? You know, if the song, if, if, if that diminished chord is meant to give a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling or something like that, does the song make that known, you know? Likewise with a metaphor. Your metaphor could be cliche, it could be clunky, it might not fit the lyrics or the message that you're trying to convey. It could simply sound forced. I want to take things personal for a second. I'm very aware that I'm not an incredible vocalist and this isn't something that bothers me or at least it's not something that's bothered me in the past. As I said, I'm a fan of rock music and there are a number of rock bands and artists who might not be revered for their vocal abilities and yet still were able to gain a massive amount of, cl of acclaim and success. I do believe that I've written some good songs and I feel like frankly that my songwriting talent is good enough for me to justify being able to build a living off of making music but I could be delusional you know even if I'm not however there are still a great many things I need to work on if I ever want to prove myself worthy of calling myself an artist. I can think of times where someone has praised the types of chord progressions that I use or even said that the songs I write are earworms but, you know, can I think of a time where someone's come up to me and been like man, the songs you write are so damn good. Creating a debate that pits singers against songwriters entirely misses the point of what music is about. And it's certainly true that in major league pop music, it's not enough to just have one talent. And all three of the artists that I specifically named in this video are multifaceted, are multi-talented, and even conform to certain conventions such as beauty standards. I don't think it makes sense to simply pick out one thing that an artist can do and put that against one thing that another artist should do. There is so much more to music than that. And I think deep down we are all aware of this. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and indeed watching through to the end. If you've enjoyed, please consider dropping a like or subscribing to the channel. And maybe you'd like to check out one of my other video essays or discussions. I also have original music, including a rock EP named Silent Sires in the Dark. Maybe that could take your fancy. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and I hope to catch you in another video.